So this is entitled, it's a poem that I had written about a year ago. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Had I pondered a minute longer, I would have noticed under this desensitized haze that no shadow appeared beneath me. Yet at the threshold of your intense gaze that set ablaze a thousand stories beckon er, of which I could have lingered in, lingered in beckoning me to uncover a fleeting mystery. Birthed from the quick exchange of a glance, I was all too enlightened. And at its place where my uh, shadow once was, oh shit. <laughs> Okay, so I, I skipped I skipped an entire line, I feel like. Can I start over? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Had I potter, had I pondered a minute longer, I would have noticed under this desensitized haze that no shadow appeared beneath me. Yet at the threshold of your intense gaze, that set ablaze a thousand stories of which I could have lingered in beckoning me to uncover a fleeting mystery. Bathed from that quick exchange of a glance, I was all too enlightened. And at the place where my shadow once was, in its place, a creature stood, neither mocking nor derisive, but foul, vicious, and dismissive of all that I considered good. And it poured into my veins, down into a flicker of a malevolent thought, that caused my blood to boil, then strain, without so much as a whispered phrase, and too impatient for an invitation. Ravaged and rampant, this creature will tear at the sleeves of my heart my heart will not bear, but to endanger this endeavor under this desensitized haze. Yeah. Would it have been better to surrender than to, to, than to regret not having a taste of your intense gaze in my desensitized haze. I am but a shallow, or but a, I am but a shallow shell of a formless soul, pondering at what could have been. I've tried to fill in that shell hole, but that famished creature had its fill, and the folly of fate that was your sudden departure broke my broke the ves vestiges of my will, and how I regret the hesitation I found of leaving a desire unspoken, for now I lay to waste. So I urge you, the audience, and anyone else, to speak up and to take, stand, to take a stand against the thing that stands in your shadow's place, when fear has its grasp upon you, and fear has lost itself, and taken your grace. Last part was improv. I don't know if it fit, but it sounded right. <laughs>